here's a quick way to make a low poly flashlight all right i'm going to select everything and hit delete and we will go to the side view hit three and then five so that you're in right ortho view looking straight on shift a and mesh and choose cylinder and let's switch this to uh eight vertices so just type in eight enter let's rotate this so that it faces uh, this way so let's go r x 90 and i'm just going to bring it up a little bit and now it's going to be laying on its side but the other thing we want to do is if you hit seven to look from the top view we have this sort of sharp point of the cylinder we want it flat on top so we're going to rotate this around the y so we're going to go ry 22.5 and now when we look seven from the top we have the flat part right up there okay so this is going to be the end of the flashlight and so i'm going to go into edit mode now so hit tab and go into edit mode or down here edit mode all right and uh, i want to select this i want to make it a little bit shorter so i'm going to go to face selection select that face and i'm going to push it down like this uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to create the sort of an indentation that would screw into the main body of the flashlight. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to, with this face selected, I'm going to press, uh, let's see how I'm going to do this. Well, I'm going to press E and S, and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, and then E and pull it out. And now I have this section that can screw into the body of the flashlight. Okay, now, normally this part is a little bit hollow, so I'm going to press, let's see how we should do this. I'm going to press I for inset, and I'm going to pull in, and E, and push back. Just a certain way, so that the battery could fit in there, so that's good. Let's make a little indentation at the very bottom of the flashlight, so let's use I to inset, click. Oh, I didn't pull it in, let's do that again. I, and pull it in and then E and just pull it in just a little bit like that. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Now, I'm gonna go back to object mode. And by the way, I have a little pie menu, but you can do it from here. Object. Now, um, that looks fine, but let's bevel these edges so that they catch light a little bit, uh, still keeping with the low poly theme. So we'll go back into edit mode and in edge selection, I'm going to shift alt and click that edge and this edge all of the sharp edges this edge this edge and this edge okay all of those 90 degree edges and i'm going to go control b you see a little cross and some uh, dotted line just pull just a little bit and click and let's deselect and have a look and that just gives it a little bit more of a polished kind of a look now like i said this part is going to screw into the main body so let's simulate sort of the thread that would be on it so go back into edit mode let's put some edge loops on here the way you do that is hover your mouse over it control r you get that pink line we'll scroll your mouse wheel up say three click to accept right click to finish it and i have those selected if they become deselected just shift alt and click on the edges we're going to bevel these control b and pull away until you see a space like this i my, my color my theme is blue just get them as wide as you want click to accept and with them still selected go e to extrude and alt s and pull until they pull out now don't pull them out like that just pull them out essentially smaller than the width of this so that that simulates thread let's have a look at what that looks like now to make them catch light a little more we're also going to bevel the edges of these so go back into edit mode and what, what i want to do is i want to select all of these sharp edges so i'm holding down shift and alt so those ones and these ones just at the top and those ones all right control b to bevel and just pull and give a small sort of angle to them and once again that will catch more light and give a bit more of a polished uh, view to it all right that's the end of the base and now we want to do the main body of the flashlight now i want to get it a similar diameter to this but maybe a little bit bigger so that it fits this piece uh the way i'm going to do that is i'm going to go into edit mode and i'm going to select one of these edges that are on the very outside the with the biggest diameter even like say that one all right 
I'm going to use this piece to make the body. And then I don't have to bring in another cylinder and figure out how big it should be. So I'm going to copy this or duplicate it. Shift D and click. I also want to break it out of this bottom piece. So I'm going to hit P and separate by selection. Go back into object mode and then try to click on it. I can pull it out now and I'm going to use this to make the main body. I'm going to set origin to geometry so that my 3D or my yeah, gizmo goes back to right here. Okay, go into edit mode and hit A to select it and now let's extrude this out. Now, E, pull along the Y as long as you want your flashlight main body to be. I'm going to make sort of a stubby one, let's say it goes to there, and then let's make the, the top of it that's going to have the glass and the bulb. So let's hit E and S and come out a ways and then just pull up a bit like that. And let's do one more section, E, and this comes straight out like that and have a look at our work. Okay, so far so good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to close this off. I'm going to go Shift Alt and click that edge. E and S to scale, and I'm going to pull in a ways to give it some thickness. Now you'll notice that it's a little bit, this part wouldn't fit into the main body, so we're going to, we're going to adjust some sizes in a bit. I'm going to hit E to extrude, I'm going to pull up a ways, doesn't really matter how far, just up the neck, and I'm going to hit F. I'm just going to close it off there. And now we're going to do a similar thing up here. All right, let's take this. Now there's different ways you could do this, but I'll do it like this. E and S, pull in till you get the thickness that you want for this part. E and then push back, and we can hit S to scale so it's angled a bit. I'm just going to hit F to close it off. Now that may be down a little bit too far, so maybe I'll pull it up to there. You put it wherever, wherever you want. Let's have a look at what we got so far. Uh, let's do some beveling on this. This is a short flashlight, isn't it? Now you could adjust that, but. I'm not going to worry about it. Let's hit, let's uh, select the sharp edges, that, those ones, and down here, this one, and this one. So I've got, I guess, four of them. And zoom in and go Control B and pull, not too much. You don't want them overlapping, just like that. That's okay. And you'll get that rounded kind of look. Actually, uh, I think maybe before we do that, I take it back. Let's go Control Z to undo that but let's go into edit mode let's put a little lip on this or an extended part control r to add an edge loop click and pull to drag up to about there what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all of this ring of polygons and i'm going to expand them a bit so i get a little bit more detail i'm going to switch to face selection i'm going to go control tab to select this menu or i can do it down here shift alt and click right here so that you select all the polygons or you can go around and hold shift and get them all shift alt and click e and s and i'm just going to pull them out so i get that so i get an extra little kind of ring there all right and now i'm going to bevel so i'm going to go back in and i'm going to in edge selection shift select that one and you know i want to select those and this edge loop here or this uh, this row is really not necessary so i'm going to get rid of this but i'm not just going to delete it i'm going to hit x and dissolve edges all right so i had that in from before now i'm going to select this one and this one come back and select this one and this one and i'm going to bevel control b pull a little bit like that let's see how that looks Okay, so I just have this ring here. Now, did I bevel this one up? You know what? This inner one, I guess I missed. So let's just go Control B and pull. And we'll get that effect. Cool. All right, let's make sure that this thing fits. Let's drag it in. And you know what we can do? We can just hit S to scale, make it a little bit smaller. That's fine, because you may want to just pull it in anyhow, or you may want it out. It's up to you what you want to do there. All right, let's make a little switch for this. Let's hit S7 from the top view. And let's go Shift A, bring in a cube, and use the arrow and just pull it over and adjust. And it's obviously too big, so let's go into edit mode and hit 
S to scale and just globally scale it. And I want it to fit along this flat surface. I'm going to hit 7 again. All right. Yeah, I don't mind that. Let's scale this in the Y, make it a little bit longer for a switch. And we're going to pull it up. And we're going to delete this bottom face. So in face selection, grab that face and hit X. Faces. I'm going to select it all again. And I'm going to scale this in the Z a little bit shorter. Like that. Pull it down. So it sits there. Maybe I'll select it and pull it up to there. S, X. Scale it in the X. Just get it the way you like. And I'm going to select this. And let's bevel. Let's select that top face and go Control B. Pull down, and let's look at that. And we get a little switch there. If we want to add a bit of detail to this, one thing we can do is we can select it again. Select this top face and, and duplicate it. Shift D and P will break it out. We'll make it a separate object. Now what we have is that piece, which was part of this, as a separate object. You can do origin of geometry and put it right in the middle. Go back into edit mode select it with A and what I want to do is I want to make it very narrow scale in the Y like this I'm gonna make some little grips on the switch I'm gonna pull it down and back and make it a little narrower than the switch SX like that okay we need to give this a bit of thickness E and I'm gonna pull up a bit but I want to delete the bottom face so let's select the bottom face X faces select it all and pull it down to it may till it makes contact and maybe a little narrower and then let's bevel the top select the face you can do this by selecting the edge all the way around you may have to click and click and click till you get the whole thing uh, and then control b pull it down like that so we get that we get a bevel and what i'm going to do with this by the way let's go origin of geometry sometimes it's when you move things in edit mode uh, what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to scale this in the X a little bit narrower, is we're going to make them go all the way up the switch. Okay, now I could just, I'm going to hit 7. I could just copy and go like this, but I want to get them equally spaced, so I'm going to select that, and I'm going to use an array. So come over here to the wrench and choose Modifier, Array, in the Y direction. All right, so if I pull this out a bit, you can see X, Y, Z. So I'm going to choose 1.5. Let's try that. And let's get rid of the X, so put that put a zero in there. And now let's up the count, three, four. And just keep doing that till you get the right number. You may have to adjust the position. Let's see how that looks. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna, I like that, so I'm gonna go ahead and click apply, and I'm gonna select that. And the switch part, the main body, shift and hold that, and I'm gonna go control J and join them together. All right, now I'm looking at this and I'm saying, well, I don't like seeing just one thread. I think I want to see like at least two. And you can, of course, do these closer together. I left a lot of space as I did this. But that's our basic flashlight right there. And maybe I want that a little bit higher. And if you want to add some colors uh, in the viewport and do just a quick render in the viewport, um, you can select, say, the body of the flashlight and come over to the Materials tab, click New. Let me switch over to Cycles, I just prefer it. And just under Color, choose, say, a black color and come down to Settings. And under Viewport Color, click the eyedropper and choose that black. And now you can see the black there. Let's make this black as well. So just click the circle there, and black. Let's make this maybe yellow. So uh, create a new material and choose your favorite orangey yellow color viewport color eyedropper orange and if you want to make say let's say this part here orange uh, you go into it and in face selection select that face there come back up to the top uh, if black is selected because that's the main color for this choose the plus so say I want to add another material to this object here and come down choose that and then click assign and you now have yellow inside there if that's your thing and let's say we want to make the, the glass a different color i'm going to click the plus and i'm going to click new and and create say a bluish kind of color and the viewport color i'm going to select it and now i go in select that face 
and choose that and hit assign. And uh, I don't know if you like that, but. Uh, and there is your low poly uh, flashlight. And then what you would do is you would set up a, a position you like. Let's say I like it right there. And just click the camera right there. And that'll give you a, um, a quick render. And then you can go image, save as image. And you can save that. And then you can come find another angle that you like. Click the camera and, and save it again. Okay, so it's just a quick uh, low poly camera or a flashlight you could of course join these together uh, if you want to have it all as one model and uh, there you go very low poly simple flashlight thanks for watching